Welcome back. I want to help you set up Databricks Community Edition in this video. So let's start. Start your browser and search for Try Databricks. You are most likely to find the link for Databricks free trial. Click the link and it will take you to the Databricks trial edition login page. Databricks offers you 14 day free trial of the Databricks cloud product. However, you must have a cloud account. The Databricks cloud is available in AWS, Microsoft Azure and Google cloud platforms. So if you already have an account in any of these cloud platforms, you can get 14 day free trial of the full featured Databricks cloud platform. However, we will not use the 14 day trial for this course. We will use a free lightweight community version of the Databricks cloud. But you should register for the account creation. So fill out the details below and click the continue button. Make sure you enter a valid email and have access to your email box. They will send you an email verification link. So you should access the emails. Use your personal email address here and avoid your company email. So you can access the Databricks Community Cloud even from outside the office network and keep it with you even if you change your company. I have filled in all the details and clicked the continue button. Great. So now they are asking to choose the cloud environment. We will not choose any of these three cloud environments because that option is for availing 14 day free trial. We want to sign up for a free community edition. You should come down and click this community edition link. They might ask for a captcha verification. So go ahead and verify that you are a human. Once your captcha verification is complete, they'll send you an email. Log into your email box and check the email from Databricks. Let me open mine. So this is an example email. You should expect a similar email from Databricks. Make sure you are checking your spam folder and found this email. Once you find the email, click the link provided in the email. Let me do it. Great. So the link takes you to the password reset page. Set your password and confirm it. That's all. You are inside the Databricks Cloud Workspace. This page is the Databricks Cloud Workspace home page. I'll explain the UI and menu items in a separate video. And we will also learn how to use it from Spark development. Nothing to worry about. But for now, let me log out from the Workspace. Close everything. Now let's try logging in once again so you know how to log into your Databricks workspace on day to day basis. Now search for the Databricks Community Edition and click the first link. You should reach the login page. I recommend that you bookmark this page so you do not have to search it again. Great. Now let me log in. Your email address is your login ID. And you know the password that you created using the password reset link. That's all. We are back in the Databricks workspace. That's all for this video. So we learned to create a Databricks community edition account and we also learned to sign in to the workspace. I'll help you become familiar with the workspace environment in the following video. See you again. Keep learning and keep growing.